hello everyone in this tutorial we will see solution of diamond problem in scala programming language so let's create first some thread so in this thread uh, we will define a function show and here we will print class 1 show function and we will create another one and in this trait we will extend trait 1 and in trait 2 we will override function show and here we will print class 2 show function and in trait 3 we will extend again 1 and here also we will overwrite function show and here we will print class 3 show, uh, show function uh, these are not classes so no need to write class so here we will create our class and in this class we will extend trait 2 with trait 3 So uh, this class is having two traits available with it and these two traits having same name function. So now the question is that if we call function show on the object of class 4 which one will be called. So we will create a singleton object in which we will define our main function. So here we will create a object of class 4 and we will call show function. So uh, the way Scala resolve this problem, what Scala do? Uh, if a class is having multiple traits or uh, in this way, so uh, the function call will be resolved with the last one. Uh, if you can see here. Uh, 2 also having same name function, 3 also having same name function. So what it will do, it will make a call to trait 3 show function. Just have a look on execution. So we will compile it and we will run it. So if you can see it actually called 3 show function. So this function actually called. So the trait which is in, if you go in right direction, so which one is the Furthest and right that will resolve the call. So now if we change this order, so now if you run it, so we can say this time trade two function will be called. So two show function called. So this is the way how Scala resolve this problem. Thank you very much for watching.